All right, guys, welcome back to the Hero's Journey vlog, where we travel the country to build a special platform in the tattoo industry, one episode at a time. Today, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, meeting up with two monsters, absolute monsters in the industry. Sean Del Del of Club Tattoo and Mario Barth of Intense Tattooing. Huge guests, huge guests. I'm super excited about this. We're actually gonna do them both in the same episode, so it's gonna be kind of a special episode. We don't usually do that, but I think the connection between them and the fact that they have a friendship is gonna help the conversation kind of flow a little bit. But I'm super excited about this one. Sean Del Del is someone I've looked up to for a long time, same with Mario Barth. Club Tattoo is just a huge brand in the industry and so is Starlight Tattoo and Intense Tattoo Ink. I mean, Intense is like the ink that we all use at the shop too. So this is like very close to home for me. So I'm super excited about this. We're about to head out right now and let's see how this one goes. Another episode of the Hero Sage podcast coming soon. I miss my dog already. I <laughs> know, I miss my cat too. That's all I can think about right now. It's my little dog and the fact that I had to leave him this morning and he was shaking. He knew what was going on. And then I tried to give him a nice hug and he started crying. He knew. He's three-fourths human, so naturally he has feelings. And I guess I'll just daydream about him each day hopefully get some pictures of him or something but yeah on our way to vegas god bless and prayers up that we land safely and we'll see you guys in vegas We made it, baby, to the Airbnb Bizzle. You wanna do a little house tour? Do a little house tour. I mean, it's not that big, but I mean, it obviously has all the little amenities and stuff. What is this, garage? <laughs> is it tickle? Yeah. Uh, Here yeah. comes the foot massage. <laughs> all right, let's try this real quick. Little garage, done crazy. They should've put some in the garage. Wash the dryer. <laughs> oh my God, he's sticking. Say hello to my little friend. Got the pool out here, jacuzzi. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you about to get whooped in fucking city golf, dude. What? <laughs> this guy's fucking. Why don't we go get some Vietnamese girl? I'm giving you like a foot massage. I think this is better. <laughs> All right. This one doesn't complain. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sheesh! Welcome to my room. Dang. Now I've got the mirror. Got the nice sheer. Got the seat. Ooh, it's a nice bathroom. Look at this. This is different. Damn, Chai. Probably gonna just sleep in here and don't do anything else. Wow, I know. It's crazy. Fuck work. This is like, this this is is like a whole walls. spot, like a whole vibe in here. Look. Dude, I thought that was good enough. It's being there. That's crazy. And then this must be the balcony or nothing at all. That's the, that's the thing that we saw from. Yeah, but why is it closed off? Damn, fit check. I think they don't let people go. All right, fit check, you know, airport stuff. Air forces. No. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, man. But they said it was still just 100 flat? Yeah. yeah that's good. He's here. He's here. Oh, you made so. it. I didn't realize he was a camera, bro. <laughs> so that's it. That's the best way. <laughs> we got all the equipment here now. We made it. We made it. Air Force Gang. Air Force right? Gang. Oh, we all got the force. Air Force Gang. Let's go. All this is the styles and shit. Yeah. That's tight. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for the help. No, 
no problem. We got two stops on there. One is just a coffee shop. I'll buy you a coffee too if you want. <laughs> and, uh, and then we're heading to our destination right after that. Take a picture. Okay. So we're going to. It's okay. We're going to Disneyland. No, we're oh. not. Disneyland. <laughs> Bro, we're, we're not even close, man. <laughs> Disneyland. Only an eight hour drive. Will you take us there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you take us? <laughs> uh, Drop everything. I just check everywhere. It depends on your pocket. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, he knows. Like, listen, he knows. You got three hundred dollars. Pfizer. Yeah. Um, your stomach acid breaks down a lot of bacteria in your gut, like uh, food. So if you consume food that has bacteria, what? there it is. All right. Hey, thank you guys. Yeah, no, hey, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Give us a second to get the gear out. We'll be oh, out your hair. Don't worry, don't worry. Have time. <laughs> Thank you, Veer. Yep. Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for doing this. Camera. Yeah, I got camera. On, Mario, nice to meet you. Mario, nice to meet you. producer, Veer, the social media manager, Kim, the videographer. The videographer. Hi, nice got a small team, you. you know? Good, good. Yeah. Keep Where you want to do this? We can bring, I have the red couch in there because we set it up somehow we can go on stage. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we could break down the, the, the mini stage. You can leave the riser. Yeah, the riser, you know, if you want to. Dude, this is sick to look at right here. Your memorabilia of all these photos, this is yeah, it's intense, man. Intense. It's that concert, band, you know. Yeah, yeah of course. crazy, that centerpiece. What happened to Bob right here? Uh, during the video filming of uh, She's Gone, mm -hmm. he was, when they look at the slow motion part, he goes in and he hits the back window of the car, but he went, he went right too, through the window. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. And then he cut his arm, so that was his battle bones. He was like, fuck yeah. You earn it, you earn it, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's... Dude, the pyro, we need pyro for the podcast just to go <laughs> over. Hey, I, I, brought the, I brought the smoke machine, the hazer, in for the last yeah, one. The hour thing, what they had when we did the... If I would have known, I would have set it up. I asked John. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> John didn't give me you much got information. Cold sparks or something? <laughs> he didn't give me oh, much info. No, no we got to get the cold spark, bro. <laughs> That's this is like full full production. See, we need the fog to sit on the ground. Like yeah, so it lays. That's, yeah, that's low, low lying fog. Yeah. I had haze. That's why haze is different. Haze is different. How does it stay low? Is it heavier? It's, it's, it's a special. It's yeah. a special. Yeah, it's, it's a, a it's a huge uh, uh, smoke mm -hmm. generator, and you have to use CO2 cans, mm -hmm. and then it yeah. cools it down so it stays all the way on the ground. Oh, so see, that's what we it's need. It's different special effects. I have a little hurricane. No, I know yours. Yeah. Like this big, it's meant yeah. for haze only. Yeah, water based haze only. That was yeah, amazing. And then you have to have it because it gets sticky on the mm -hmm. floor, you know, and yeah. then it rolls down in the front of the stage. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Oh, actually. that's sick. Yeah. Dude. When you got the budget for that, you know. know, like, I know, dude. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to. We'll make a trip back on episode 100, and then yeah. and then yeah, we'll do the something whole, crazy. The whole thing. This shine is effectively just what I like have and need. Just like budgets way, way, way yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What well, you deal with for the band, you know? No, so no, exactly. Like, so there's a lot it's, of it's, support for sure. But if you guys want to use it, yeah. just give me a heads up and we set it up. You know? uh, do you have to? Do you have to be uh, out of here by a certain time or anything? No. Okay. Yeah. We'll find. I know Sean got a little bit, but always. Yeah. Always, he's always on the move. Really feel like home, really. If you need some, Very if you don't see it, we have two trailer full of fucking equipment. Sorry, Dude, how thinking. come every episode that we do, it gets cooler and cooler? It's just, the setups get cooler, the shit gets cooler. I almost wish we knew about this whole shit ahead of time. This is crazy. So that we could be like, plan it. And then watch, after we get to a certain episode, we're gonna be like, planning the setups like. It's Mr. B style. Like, look, if we had the money to, I would literally send you Pay like you to go, yeah, exactly, and, just and then dialed, make sure dude. it's all dialed. Oh, yeah. All right, so just we're moving the couches right now. On. Put it on the stage. Yeah, a couple of those. Right, you're good. You're good. Trying to test the seating. See, make sure I got a good. You know, be able to talk to both of them. Boom, boom. Trying to get the the lights good and stuff, so we can get that orange and teal that we normally get on every episode. So luckily they have this huge lighting setup. So we're trying to see if we could utilize some of it so we could get that effect that we normally get, but even more so, you know? So super dope that we have the access to all of this stuff. And this might be the, one of the coolest setups in its own right. We've had some pretty cool setups already, but this is cool because it's very interchangeable and we could get creative with it. So a little more exciting than Mochi Nut. <laughs> Shout out to Mochi Nut though. We love you. Sean should be here any minute. We filmed five so far. This is our sixth. 
but it's already feels so special because of the guests that we were able to get and the connections we were able to make. And I don't feel like everyone gets that um, opportunity to just do that right off the bat. So not for nothing, everything that I've done in my career leading up until this point, just for me to be able to do this at a level that's better than someone that's just starting a podcast from absolutely nothing, you know? So trying to take advantage of it, do it the right way, um, fund it as much as I can as we build, and then hopefully it turns into something super special in the tattoo industry. Mr. Sean. What's up, big man? How you doing? Ah, oh, dude. Good to meet what you, is brother. up? How you been? Good, man. How are you? Excellent. Good this to meet is, you, bro. Uh, Lena. Lena. Nice to meet you, I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Glad you're here, man. Thank you. Uh, thanks for uh, doing this. Yeah, I brought dude. you some goods, man. No way. It's some music. Oh, what? You know what I, mean? I know you said you had somebody with you that has a uh, birthday, so I got I brought two for you and then two for him. Hopefully, you like rock music. So. Oh, dude, I've probably heard a lot of this already. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I hope you dig it. Fuck and then, yeah, dude. Uh, I brought you some some books that I. These are some books that I wrote. And then here's some gear. I read this three times. Did you? Read I didn't it? read this one yet. Yeah, dude, come on. Oh, Who are you man, talking to, man? Awesome. I read. Oh, that's so I know cool. exactly what's going on. You know. Very cool. I haven't read this one yet, so I'm actually excited about this one. Oh, very cool. And I was re-listening to this one um, last night just to catch up on some stuff. Oh, yeah. brother, that's cool. Man. I'm on it, man. Dude, I'm on it. You. I'm on it. Here's some club tattoo gear. I know you have your own yeah. shop, but I know you like to rock other stuff too. So. Of course I do. Enjoy. Of course I do. Hey, man, thank you so much. You're welcome. My Appreciate pleasure, it. dude. Hope you like it. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, we're just getting set up and stuff. Do you have a time limit when you need to? No. no, no, I'm here as long as you need me. Okay, good, good. Cause the setup is just making sure it is all right and stuff. But once we get started, it'll be super smooth and easy. And then um, we definitely want at least an hour, but everything usually goes smooth and then flows naturally. And then we'll cut it whenever it feels right, you know? And I'm super easy to talk to, dude. These usually go super smooth. I like to go a little deeper. I, I, I tend to stay away from some of the most basic of questions that every single, inter I just hate it. Okay. That's why this is different. This is why, I love the opportunity to be able to connect with people like you, and I've been blessed in the in this podcast already to connect it with, you know, Corey Miller, Jeremy from Solon, and every, and they've been hella helpful to get me new guests and stuff like that. But I think it's because they see the difference in what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make something special in the industry, and, just... and they see your heart, dude. Look, I listened to all those podcasts already to did my homework and. You're genuine, like you come across as really genuine. Thank so you, man. That I means think, a lot. I think it's easy for them to make those calls because they believe in it already. Right, right. Jeremy's a good friend too. He's literally he was my first episode and he couldn't have been a better episode because that guy is so helpful. If he likes the person or believes in the person, oh dude, he'll yeah. give you he'll break his back to help you, you know? Yeah. He's, he's like, one of the best relationship managers I've it, ever met. Exactly. He's That's like the best he's way to... so good at not only making relationships but extending them and networking. He's like a networking master. A hundred percent. Like the day after right when we got done with the podcast, he was like, Man, that was the best one I've ever done. Who do you want as a guest? Tell me right now. I was like, I don't know, man. Like, maybe like Corey Miller, Freddie Negretti, he's like, I just texted them. And then they texted them back. They're like, yeah, we're down, we'll do it right now. And I was like, bro. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty surreal for me. And uh, Are you tied with Ryan too? Have you met Ryan? I have not re met Ryan yet. So Ryan was a tattoo artist for me. That's where he did his apprenticeship. I heard you talking about it on Jeremy's episode. Yeah. And then they started Sullen when Ryan was working for me at Club Tattoo. That's how they started. And they, then they moved out to LA and, and did their whole thing out here. So you see how all there. that's entangled is so crazy yeah. to me. It's almost like tattoo folklore. Jeremy, used like, to, that's how his first interactions with tattoo shops was at Club Tattoo in Arizona. Really? Yeah. And that's he didn't even whole, tell me that. Crew. Yeah. What? That'd be a good stuff to bring up on yeah. the pod too. And Just Ryan was the it. first artist to do a, our, one of our first Club Tattoo t-shirts. I remember it really well as this cool, low rider bicycle with you know just really cool yeah. artwork on yeah. it the first time we did anything do you like think that. they got the idea for doing the artwork on the t-shirts from the club tattoo stuff no no ryan was uh ryan was a thought leader in that department he mm -hmm. he led me down well even Jer even yeah. jeremy was telling me he was like this got to where it was going because of ryan mostly yeah. you know yeah, ryan is he's awesome yeah. he's a, not only a good dude good soul but he's really really good with art in different mediums i heard you guys talking about it a little bit I was like, yep, yeah I and he messaged me it. like three days ago and he said dude i would love to and he wants me on his thing too but it'd be cool i'm definitely going to get him on too because i feel like even though i i interviewed jeremy brian has a ton to tell dude. And, and from a different perspective because jeremy's not an artist but he's a huge part in that thing oh, yeah. but then ryan is like a totally different perspective i feel like yeah yeah so it'll be super cool man oh, they're, they're, they're the perfect partners because Jeremy's the relationship guy and Ryan's kind of the, the engine behind the 
they're, they're and you figure both of them have to have a certain amount of humility to be able to have a partnership that lasts that long because you know how partnerships are it's yeah. like i've been through some bad partnerships and no matter how good it seems in the beginning it's your best friend or you're good with them or whatever dude that shit can go horrible you know yeah i mean being aligned with not only your, your mission in the beginning but like where you want to go exactly. and what your core values are because if you don't know what each other's core values are when you start there's going to be a crossroads down the line something's going to be really important to one person and not the other person exactly. and it is going to be it's yeah. going to be fireworks even at my shop I, I i learned the hard way about setting the company culture first and then in the very beginning letting everyone know getting everyone on the same page first and the values and everything we even have it all written out um, laminated and everyone has a copy of it just to, so they you. know exactly what we're about what we do and where we're going and it keeps all it keeps the artists excited about what's to come so they don't just get like that monotonous feel of just tattooing everything and know? they see you as a visionary they're like well where's this going he's not just the guy who's just showing up and making money off of us so like right he literally has a plan or a strategy for us to all succeed and I heard you talking about that on one of the episodes too where you're 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 not just worried about yourself, and that's cool to see that. You yeah. know, a lot of shop owners aren't like that. And you're, you're, you have your big toe in the artistic side of it, which is awesome, but you're also on the entrepreneur side, and you're kind of, hey guys, yeah, let's, exactly. let's do this together, which is cool. And the other thing that was tough for, for me to get over early on, you know, you used to get hurt when you guys would leave, and now it's like, it's part of it. People, people, they grow. People grow, and if and if you can have a positive impact on them, and as they leave, they're hugging you, and they still love you, and they have great memories of everything you've special, you've yeah. shared with them, then you did your job as a leader. You 100%. know, because no one's gonna stay with you forever. That's just a uh, that's a pipe dream. It's unrealistic. And it's like when you first start something, you always think that man, I'm gonna make this so good. Why would anyone want to leave? Oh, but that yeah. it's impossible, right? Yeah. Because people have different ideas for their life. They want to experience new environments. Or they get a little successful yeah, yeah. and then now the world opens up to them and that's yeah. kind of the point, right? Yeah. So, and I have a mentor that told me, he was like, look, if you're gonna take the role of the mentor, you have, you have to be okay with letting go at the top and then feeding the bottom with more artists. And then playing your advice. role. Playing your role. So that's what I'm doing. And then now I'm trying to expand past me just tattooing. Yeah, the shop and stuff, but with this is a huge thing for me. Just trying to expand it a little bit so I don't have to just like, the shop is just like, man, if, if you guys don't tattoo and I don't make money, I just I just hate that idea, you know? Mm -hmm. If I could expand it from there and I don't have to worry about that as much, and I more so could just optimize it and then let it all run smoothly and then focus on my other stuff. Because I don't want to like spread myself too thin and then everything collapses. So you got to make sure everything is solid. It is a balance. It's a balance. Sure. And I'm sure we'll talk about that on this. This is actually a lot of good stuff to have on the podcast. So. We'll jump in. Yeah, we'll jump into it for sure. Yeah. Almost there. Um, you got all the mics, the lights, the cameras ready. We just need to angle them. I'm gonna do a mic check. Hell yeah. Side set, side piece of this. I agree, but it's just so funny because every time it takes it, it takes a while to set up at places, but then you get into it and you're like, oh, it's just a young thing. That's it. No big deal. That's a wrap for uh, episode six of the Hero on the Stage podcast, super special one. Uh, we traveled to Las Vegas to meet up with Sean and then thankfully Mario sat in as well and it became something super special and I hope you guys got a lot out of it. So thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one. Woo! Oh, it's fun. Oh, man. We always do. Because we have such different, not really, but do. No, it, you two contrasting each other is is I think you got a lot more than if we were to do individual. Dude, we're connected now, and now that the line of communication is open, I really want to do some real special stuff in the yeah, future. Absolutely. Yeah.
uh, just something to think about. He brings a lot of his European guys, all of his sponsored artists over for shows various yeah. times. That'd be a great time to connect you at those conventions, whatever, because, you know, just people that are from different parts of the planet you may yeah. not be able to get to. Yes. Might be asking yeah, and I always thought in the future about connecting with a, a chain of conventions for that specific purpose. And if it can be intentional and I could almost partner with and figure out how to do it efficiently, because it costs money to go and do all of this stuff, I would absolutely love that. Well, yeah. Keep in mind, we'll have the whole podcast area set up on the ship, so you can interview any of the artists on there. So oh, we're amazing. Gonna, we're going to be launch. shooting yeah. them yeah. down. We're going to try to get as many as we can and make it worth it. Hey, it was nice to meet you. All right. Have a safe trip, my friend. Yeah. Good to meet you, finally. Good to meet you, man. Good Bye, guys. You. Bye. See ya. We see ya. I don't my have any hands. We see ya. Yes. My lost found son. Yeah, lost found son. I finally have a dad. <laughs> <laughs> my pleasure, sure. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Pleasure. That would change the whole business if we had like a big ass. Uh, That'd be crazy. I mean, uh, like what I said, man. Like congratulations because like we we fucking this thing was planned like like yeah. It was this wasn't like like oh let's do it just because like we'll, we'll do it like no dude like we spend a lot of money in this shit we have time I know how much money you put in this thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Like four, for like just episode three, bro. Like that's crazy. Three episodes. Yeah, like think about it, like you had all about the biggest fucking people, bro. Yeah. You know, to be honest with you, bro, uh, we started a podcast like it's not like the right time. It's more of like we started like we had the first like like guest like like it was the like the the right one. Because because of him, he was able to like this. We could have like start podcast and not have him, right? And we're not. Gonna we could have like, easily gone in different yeah. directions and just got like an easy guest or just tried to build up to good or guests. Just, like slow. But like slow, I was thinking, slow. like we like if we're gonna do this, like let's like like you know like those things where like when we do when we do things, I always think about all right, like who are we trying to target? Like oh, you're in the tattoo industry. We need to be locked in that first. Like we need to get. The industry to support you before you grab, we branch out. Yeah. Like just episode three, bro. You have fucking. Think that. It just Oh, dude. Like, <laughs> if, if if Sean sees their like, uh, like if even Ink Max sees dude, their shit. A hundred percent. They would do. I think they. I hundred percent. I think they would just do get that. them both. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think they could. I think they would do yeah, that. Like, both in. like. Their podcast is pretty unique too, and it's own. It's unique. It's yeah, all, yeah. And, and, it's very and, and feminine. It gets, and it, as I say, it gets the girl say, it gets the female say. And then Jessica in her own right has um, credibility because of the, how she tattoos and shit like that. Yeah, so then, dude, and that we both, dude. How bonkers would that be, dude? And then Jessica started fucking a reaction yeah, channel, right? and then we get that on. Like, no, Hold on, like, 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 it's like doing how uh, what's his name, uh, Barstool. Yes, yeah. exactly. That well. Yeah. They're going to because Sean just mentioned it to him because he wasn't thinking about that. Because mm -hmm. initially Darren was telling, he told me that Darren was telling him, he was like, oh, well, we already got this one girl that's interviewing people. And, and then he was like, no, 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 you're thinking too small, bro. Like, this is different. Like, this, this is better than that. And then also, like, you need to be having multiple podcasts with different types of people interviewing different types, different perspectives and stuff. And that's when he said that Shine could be like your Howard Stern and blah, 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 which was like a big compliment because that's like yeah, yeah, very yeah. respectable, you know? Like one of those that girls would be the, uh, what's the, the girls podcast? Yeah, it would be, um, no, it would be, no, that would be, it would be, uh, uh, call her daddy. Call her daddy, yeah. yeah. Bro, I could, we could easily pitch that to them. Like, look, you need a Call Her Daddy type podcast This for tattoo artists, yeah, this is need, that. You need the girls, you need the drama, drama, you need the fun. fun. And then, they, and then, P, and then uh, PTD got uh, merged too through Ink Mag, and then we're just having this big boom. fucking economic sphere of just like... Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, that's uh, making content, making a little dough, and having some fun along the way. Bro, I am <coughs> ripping right now. I did, and it sucks that you can't just record conversations because you know the, you, you have some conversations. It legal. was, <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's like without it, consent. It, 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 the problem is, is like it, there's a lot of memories attached to that no, moment, so and then it's sad. like, uh, luckily Adrian got to hear, but it's just like you want to like fuck like, like that, that moment when you hear. It. Yeah, it was so smooth. That was the smoothest little combo. Yeah, this is the last day of our trip, and we just got back from Eden. We were out till like 4 or 5 a.m. last night, and we're awake as ever. 
Maybe we'll hit a wall, maybe we won't, but we're gonna go back outside, go shop at Caesar's Palace, and um, yeah. Fish egg. Oh shit. Fish egg. <laughs> <laughs> There's no stain on this. Oh, you socks go crazy. Right here, right here. You see that? Drip Drippy drip. Let's go. All right, drip check. Yeah. Nothing crazy. You gotta go over here. Lighting's better here. All right, show me your drip. Yeah, nothing crazy today. A little bit, a little bit of warm lotus. Mm -hmm. A little bit of Gucci on the feet too. Gucci. Some, Gucci game, some Gucci regular. Game. No, what's up here? Watch out, man. <laughs> Out here. Uh, we're going to Caesars, uh, the forum, the, the forum, yeah, the forum, Caesars Palace. We're going to shop. Caesar, a Caesar salad actually sounds kind of good. Right? That's crazy. You, uh, you know where? Uh, Very plain with just a little bit of white chicken. A little bit of chicken. I'm cool. You guys know where uh, Caesars salad was created? In Mexico. Truce. The truce. I've never, I've never the had a Caesar salad. Truce. Never have you ever? It doesn't come never, from no. I've never once had one with a So they're like debating <laughs> about Caesar salad. <laughs> That's different. That's crazy. That's real though. No, they they put like slices See? in there like. I'm having a debate stuff. about you've Caesar salad. You never had a chicken Sometimes. Caesar salad. This is Mr. Mr. No, fact check right here, bro. He's got all the facts. 100% down. That boy got all the facts. All of them. He must be an artifact. Oh, see, he used to be a cook. Fucking Adrian. So he knows Caesar salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Ballin', like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. Yeah, I'm ballin', like it's game time. Out here. Locked in when it's game time. I put it in for sure. Couldn't wait for mine. I got now. Couldn't wait in line. I just needed something to layer over this with some white because I was looking very tonal and stuff. So you just pop it off a little bit. A little Harley Davidson. This is actually an anniversary jacket, so they don't have any of these. Oh, uh, yeah. Bam. 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 Popping. Say how you do it, but you hardly did. Fibbing on the ground. Aquarius. Got Aquarius bracelet with the red, and I got another Aquarius bracelet with the black, so they know what's up. I'm not a Scorpio. I'm not a Leo. I'm a fucking air sign that rules over water signs, baby. <laughs> you know what it is. Like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. Yeah, I'm falling. Like it's game time. Locked in when it's game time. I put in work, couldn't wait for mine. I got now. Like it's game time Locked in when it's game time Yeah, I'm ballin' 